Okay, I'm now going to attach a MIDI keyboard, which has actually got a built-in um, synthesizer section to it, as if it's a controller keyboard. To do that, I'm going to use a USB MIDI interface. So that goes directly into the back of the Mac. You do not want to put that through the hub, because otherwise it introduces a slight latency. And then you'll see on the side, you've got MIDI 1 and MIDI, sorry, MIDI 1 and MIDI 2, and you've got in, out for both channels. You want to send the MIDI in to the Mac, so you take a 5-pin MIDI DIN cable, you attach that to MIDI 1 in. You then set up your MIDI keyboard without trashing the guitar. You okay? Good stuff. All right. And the 5-pin MIDI DIN cable, you need to take the MIDI out of the keyboard, so you put this one into the MIDI out. So to be clear, that's the MIDI out socket goes to the MIDI in socket of the Mac. You're only sending information from here to here, so you don't need to have a cable going from the MIDI out socket of the Mac to the MIDI in socket of the synthesizer. Right? Because you're using this as a controller keyboard rather than as an audio instrument, you need to make sure that your volume is turned all the way down, otherwise you're going to get the sound twice. Last thing you need to do for that is the hopefully obvious step of connecting up the power, which is already here. And almost reaches. You'd want to use a closer power socket for yours because you want to make sure your cables are safe.